Removing unwanted objects from video when editing is no easy task. It's not like editing stools, photographs in Photoshop where you can generally clone or erase at all. The problem with video is that because it is just about always moving, that object that you're trying to remove has to be tracked. A company called CoreMelt offer a plugin called SliceX for Final Cut Pro X, which helps remove unwanted objects when editing by using fancy movement or motion tracking. Here's my thoughts on using it. Hi, I'm Grant, and I have used products from CoreMelt before, and I've made a video which I'll link below in the description, where I use one of their products called DriveX for Final Cut Pro X, where you could use it to track shape outlines, for example, in real estate videos to show boundaries of property or land for sale. Recently, I've been using another effect from CoreMelt called Slice X, and specifically the effect I was playing with, which I'm, I'm showing you in this video, is called Object Removal. It works a little bit like the Photoshop clone tool. As I mentioned earlier, the big challenge when trying to remove objects from videos is because the video is moving, say you want to remove this hand in this video shot, then you have to track it and then mask it or a lot of other fancy jiggery pokery, which is generally the domain of programs such as Adobe's After Effects. I'm a pretty simple guy and I'm not very technical when it comes to After Effects and programs like that, which I don't really want to have to learn if I don't have to. So a plugin that can take care of the heavy lifting for me is something that I am pretty keen to use. So to show you more about this plugin, I am going to switch over now to my screen capture on my computer so you can see what I'm doing inside Final Cut Pro X. Okay, I am now doing a screen record, obviously, of my computer monitor, and I am inside Final Cut Pro X. Now, what I was going to show you here, for using the object remover from CoreMelt, this clip here, I arrived the other day to shoot this beautiful piece of land here for a real estate video of this land for sale, which was essentially all in around here. Now, I'll zoom in a little bit on this picture. And if you can see here, there's a big old puddle of water right on the corner of the building platform. Now, I know from experience that this agent, even though it was a beautiful day and all the properties looking great, um, she would not, been, would not have been happy with the video when you can see the water. So I applied, I'll screen back out there, and I've just done, basically I've duplicated the clip here. If you watch these two clips, pay attention in here, you can see the puddle of water. And now it's gone. So what I did is I applied the object remover plugin from CoreMelt. Um, and basically, if you can just see it there, and I've essentially it's duplicated a little bit of the green from the building platform here and moved it over top and it's tracked the motion. Now I'll show you this how this works with another clip. For example, I just shot this property the other day and I am obviously in the kitchen here. Very nice looking house and you can see here, which I didn't notice, but it's not a big deal, but there's a lovely bottle of pink hand wash here. Now say for example we wanted to remove this bottle of hand wash. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I've duplicated the clip already on my timeline. So that's the exact same clip. And this one here, I'm going to go into my effects editor. And I'm going to go down to C2 track X, oh, sorry, slice X. And this is the effect here, the object remover. So I'm going to drag that onto my clip. Now I'll go to the start of the clip. This kind of, sometimes this can be a bit fiddly, fiddly is the tracking part of it. So I'll go to the start of the clip here. And what I do is I will select the polygonal tool, polygonal tool, I think it's called. Actually, I'll zoom in a little bit on the clip. And now I'm gonna, just going to put a wee track mark around it. All right, so that's the area I want. Now, what happens here is this green part here is the bit that we're going to use to duplicate or, the, or put the, that, treat it as the clone tool I've found is the easiest way to, to treat this. And I'm going to move this over here somewhere so I can just duplicate that nice clean bit of back, um, back kitchen wall over top of the pink paste, the pink, sorry, hand wash. And I do this by going up into here and I go track offset and I just move it a little bit out to the, sorry, the other way. Probably be able. It's gone. It's a little bit about there. Now, now the other thing I have to do now is because we've drawn the polygonal tool around the hand wash, we now have to track it. So I hit the wee tracking button here, and you'll see as track editor will go through the clip there and track 
over top of the hand wash. Now if we just go back there, that seemed to do a pretty good job. If I play that back, that is pretty good. If you play these two clips down back to back, that is pretty clever. And I'll put it back out to normal size, about to fit. It'll take a pretty sharp eye to see that I've actually masked it and got rid of it. As easy as that. Now here's a little more complicated one, um, which I've done earlier. Now I'll, I'll remove it, or what I've done here. So it's the same clip again. Now it doesn't work on everything, and sometimes the tracking can be quite fiddly, and I've had to redo the tracking a couple of times to get it, and sometimes it hasn't worked for me at all. But it, it seems to work pretty well, and it depends how well you're tracking it. For example, this clip, same clip here, let's say we want to get rid of the silver, the silver toaster here. It's going to be a trickier one, so we grab, once again, grab the object removal tool, drop it over the clip. I like to go back towards the start of the clip. Zoom in. Now I'm going to grab the polygonal, am I saying that correctly? Polygonal tool, let's see if I hover over it. Create polygonal, polygonal shape. Right, now I'm going to track around. up the wall and then close it now this could be a bit tricky so now I'm going to offset the green area which it's going to duplicate I'm using my little X offset again Let's it back there a bit and then up a little bit Right, and now I'm going to set the tracking in motion so it tracks the movement. Okay, so in this instance it hasn't done a particularly good job, and I can see the jug handle coming out here, but another way, sometimes you have to do it a couple of times, so this way, for example, now I might start at the back of the track and track it backwards, so I'll go to the end of the clip here, and I'll just make that a little bit bigger. A little bit higher just by dragging those two handles and then I'll track it backwards now I'll we'll play that clip down okay here's the watch here here's the same clip here's the toaster oh actually sorry oh well let's go back to out to the normal views so here's the toaster same clip No toaster. That's not bad. The softness could probably do a little bit of adjusting. I would be pretty happy with that. Then you have to render it. The rendering is not the quickest, but that is a pretty powerful and a pretty cool tool. It works really well, however, it's not going to work in every situation. I have found it depends upon how difficult it would be to replace the shot or how difficult it is for the for the planner tracker within that within that core melt plugin to track the moving object. Overall, I have to say I really like this plugin and I think it works really well and it is a great tool to have inside my editing toolkit. Obviously, I've only just touched on one of the, the specific effects that you can use within this Core Melt plugin and I'll do another video soon on another one which I have had my eye on and with its particular application for shooting real estate video. The Core Melt Slice X plugin only works for Final Cut Pro X and at the time of writing this, this plugin is US $99. The Everything Bundle from Core Melt is US $299 and it's not the cheapest plugin out there but I think it is a quality plugin that can save me a lot of time and hassle in the edit suite. That nifty little feature that I just used of tracking the price to my hand is the DriveX plugin. That's it from me, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.